Hi, today we're going to check out the difference between the distortion achieved by cranked power tubes and distortion by cranked preamp tubes. You know, when playing in Marshall, you're basically uh, playing the, uh, the uh, overtones created by distortion uh, rather than uh, the uh, mere guitar tone itself. So, obviously, it's very important uh, to. Uh, get uh, the most out of the app. So let's see what we can get away with. Can we uh, can we use bedroom volumes and, uh, and preamp to distortion only or do we need to crank the uh, power tubes? We're going to use an attenuator, keep, keep the volume uh, low. Uh, so, so this obviously doesn't include the speaker distortion and other factors that are also important. I will comment it more at the end. Uh, so let's go. Cheers. First, let's have the master at uh, 3 o'clock and the preamp at 9 o'clock. Sounds like this. <laughs> Okay, so uh, let's assume that we only use preamp distortion and pull back the, the master. Then obviously we need to compensate for that. The hot plate. We get about the same volume. darker and a whole lot less uh, spatial definition. Let's see if we can compensate with the uh, EQ. Okay, so that's that. Uh, I think the uh, uh, the basic character is obviously preserved uh, for all these settings, uh, but the, uh, the classic Marshall uh, attack, uh, the hard classic Marshall attack sound, I think is very much lost if you don't uh, crank the power tubes, and uh, you lose a lot of the uh, overtones and the uh, treble that uh, that makes it sound uh, special and give it, gives it a place in the room. Um, obviously, if, if there, there is a very dense mix and, and you don't need that much treble, uh, you you could get away with the, uh, the uh, preamp distortion. Uh, but if you if you uh, if you use that philosophy for all all the sounds in the mix, it it will be obviously be quite dull. Okay, so what do you think? Let me know. Cheers.